welcome back to our channel if you're new here my name is sam and i am the owner of malia stitches which is an etsy shop where we sell embroidered kids birthday shirts uh christmas themed or holiday themed shirts and some tutus and we're working on adding some more things here shortly um today's video is going to be a work with me video i have seven open orders right now and um, I need to get them all, hopefully get them all done today. This weekend we have a lot going on, so I don't know how much time I'll have to work on orders over the weekend. So we have to get those done today. Um, a couple things I want to talk about before we get started is I did some playing with my new tags. And I think they're going to work out. Look at that. Look! Mom, look at my popsicles. Oh, we've got popsicles. Um, my kids are on spring break right now, so they'll probably be in and out of the video as well. Um, but, yeah. So if you didn't watch my previous video, I made tags using... Um, the fabric transfer paper that you can buy at Walmart looks like this and these tags are gonna go on some new items that I'm hoping to uh, get into my shop soon some rompers some leggings some bummies maybe some skirts and just all handmade baby items so hopefully we're practicing, I'm practicing working on making those. I want to make sure that I'm doing them um, efficiently and properly before I put those on my shop. So that's where we are in the process of getting this added right now. Also, another thing is I was pulling shirts for today's orders. And I don't know if you can tell, but in this package, I have a three t-shirt but it was labeled 4T on the sticker. So for me, I was going off the sticker and I had this in my 4T stack of shirts. Um, I, I'm gonna say the manufacturer labeled them incorrectly. So when you order shirts, I don't believe it's AJ Blank's fault at, at any cost. So. I'm not blaming her for this, but um, if when you order shirts, doesn't matter which company you order them from, make sure you look at the tag on the shirt and not so much the stickers on the on the back. Um, for me, this really isn't a big deal. I will use this shirt um, eventually, so it's it's really not a big deal. Um, but for those who are starting out. Um, you make sure you double check that because I'm sure you're ordering your shirts as they are being ordered on your shop so or that's how I did it when I first started off I didn't have a have a bulk um, or a stock on hand when I first started I just ordered them as they were ordered on my shop so this could really put somebody in a bind if time wise if um, you did it that way. So just kind of make sure to look at the tags. Um, I did match it up with another size 3 t-shirt and it is a it is a true 3 t-shirt so just kind of watch out for that. I don't think Angela watches my videos but if she does just FYI this happened to me. Um, I don't know that there's really a fix for it just kind of watch uh, just watch your stuff and then if um, if this happens to you just let Angela know she, I'm sure she'll take care of it for you she's really they're they're really good about um, customer service and making sure you have what you ordered so with that being said let's get started
Okay, while that's going, I'm gonna get some fabric prepped for the other shirt.
just want to um, stop here and kind of give you an idea of how long it took me to sew this. It took me 20 minutes to sew this tutu. It is a smaller size tutu. It's a newborn to a six month tutu, so it is a little bit smaller. It took me 20 minutes to sew it, just enough time for this shirt to stitch out all the satin stitching. So I didn't waste any time at all. So that's the beauty of having a multi-needle. You can do two things at once. Okay, so far we've gotten two shirts done and we've sew done all the sewing on a tutu. So we're going to start um, the third shirt and then I'm going to finish up the tutu while the satin stitching on this uh, third shirt stitches out. So this third shirt is another Cocomelon shirt, so I probably will just um, show you a clip of it at the end when it's finished. That way you don't see the same shirt being stitched out um, over and over again. So here we go. three shirts done in a tutu. Uh, the girls and I are going to go get some lunch and run to town and do some errands and then we will continue on after that.
borders are done. Here's what we did. Six shirts in a tutu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, um, if this, oh, there's a glare on there, okay. Please, if this uh, content you found um, valuable, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like this content and would like to see more, consider subscribing. And thank you guys so, so much for coming along with me and working with me today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.